Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Brilliant lone wolf Jerry Turner lives in a dazzling $637,000 lakeside home in Indiana. The U.S. Sun can solely affirm. On July 17, Jerry, 71, was announced as the first lead on The Golden Bachelor, a spin-off of The Bachelor. The details of his dream house on a beautiful lake in Indiana, which were teased in his ABC bio, are now exclusively available to the U.S. Sun. As indicated by property records acquired by the U.S. Sun, Jerry bought his fantasy home in June 2020 for $375,000. He had recently carried on with a short leave in a comparative home, which he sold simultaneously for $415,000. His ongoing home, a four-room, three-and-a-half shower, is esteemed on Zillow to be valued at $637,700 three years after the deal date. The property record expresses that the lakeside home is north of 2,000 square feet and that there is a substantial porch, wood deck, and open casing patio. The best component of the house is its perspectives on the lake, where Jerry was seen recording his Great Morning America interview. There is likewise a harbor for boats that has all the earmarks of being connected to his property. However, it's not clear if Jerry owns a boat. According to the property record, the stunning 2007 construction includes a living room, finished basement, and garage. Unhitched male country was stunned to become familiar with the brilliant lone wolf was so gorgeous and seemed much more youthful than his real age. One fan had this to say, Is it true or not that you are messing with me? I love him as of now. Someone else wrote, they tracked down the most youthful-looking 71-year-old stud on the planet. Loads of Snickers. In any case, I'm actually energized. Jerry, articulated Gary, is a resigned restaurateur and has an expected total assets of $1.5 million, as per Distractify. Per his profile, he currently spends his days facilitating grills, playing pickleball, applauding his number one Chicago sports groups, for haggling time with loved ones at eateries and nearby torment. Jerry told GMA he would love to track down a join forces with comparative interests. I'd be thrilled if I could find a partner who has a lot of energy. Someone who might play pickleball or golf, perhaps he stated. The Indiana local, who recently lived in Davenport, Iowa, has two little girls, Angie and Jenny, and two granddaughters, Charlie and Peyton. At the point when Jess Palmer shocked Jerry over Zoom by letting him know he had been picked as the principal brilliant unhitched male, the patriarch anxiously yelled, Damnation indeed, I would. His little girls accumulated around the PC screen, and were similarly as energized for their dad to set out on his excursion to track down adoration. As a matter of fact, it was his little girls who encouraged him to pursue the show since he had nothing to lose. Per the show's slogan, becoming hopelessly enamored is rarely past the point of no return, once more. Before Jerry was chosen as the Golden Bachelor, he had been married to Tony Turner, his high school sweetheart, for 43 years. In 2017, she startlingly became ill, a month and a half after her retirement. She died on July 15, 2017, as per her eulogy. She got ransacked. That's the thought that I have every day that goes by, Jerry said in his GMA interview with tears. The picture of his late wife is still on his dresser and he admitted that he still sought her permission to date other people. Jerry disclosed, We always told each other that when one of us goes, we want the other one to be happy. Chris Conran and Alana Milne's relationship could have worked up show during Season 7 of Lone Ranger in Heaven. 
However, the unhitched male several has been continuing forward since after they left the ocean side. They moved in together in Salt Lake City, and on social media, they have been showing their love to Bachelor Nation viewers. The couple is currently marking a significant anniversary with sweet social media posts. Alana wrote, Two years I love you endlessly at Chris Canran, alongside videos and photos from their relationship over the past two years. Chris remarked on Alana's post, saying, I love you such a lot of child, the best two years of my life. The unhitched male country star likewise shared his own commemoration post and spouted over his sweetheart. Chris wrote, Cheers to life's best two years with a girl who makes me the happiest guy on the planet. I love you to Pluto and back baby. Here's to many, many, many years more, next to a series of photos. Numerous of Alana and Chris's fellow Bachelor Nation stars expressed their affection for the couple in the responses they received to their posts. Love Y'all was written by Brendan Quinn. Happy anniversary to you too, she added. What's more, Tammy Lai said, cheerful commemoration, sweethearts. With all the love for Chris and Alana, we can't agree more. As they celebrate many more years together, we wish them all the best. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.